and hello from Tampa, Florida, where we do Christmas too, only in shorts and sandals, so apologize to those up north. In this video, we visit the University of Tampa and the Henry Plant Museum in the beautiful former H.B. Plant Hotel. And the event is Tampa's favorite holiday tradition, the annual Victorian Christmas Stroll, which started as a small three evening event, but has grown over the past four decades into a month of extravaganza and grandeur, allowing visitors to glimpse into the magic of Christmas past. This holiday experience is a wonderful way to celebrate all the season has to offer. With a variety of delightful themes and displays in each exhibit room, the annual Victorian Christmas Stroll is sure to be a hit. Look closely at in the exhibit cases and you will find snow babies and tiny antique trees. Gaze in wonder at a 14-foot tree bedecked in antique ornaments. Decorations include visitor favorites from years past, as well as new marvels that are sure to amaze and enthrall. Ones in particular of note to us, there was a baseball themed tree, there's a, a sports memorabilia tree, and a bottle tree made of wine bottles. I, I don't know who drank all the wine, but I have a, a clue who might have. And then during the video, you'll notice Babe Ruth's baseball because it was on the site of the HB Plant Hotel where Babe Ruth hit his longest home run. Other notables that stayed there were uh, Colonel, Colonel not President, Theodore or Teddy Roosevelt, and his Rough Riders. They were stationed in the hotel during the Spanish-American War. Now, Roosevelt retained a suite and during the day he led his men in battle exercises on the grounds of the hotel. Other notable visitors besides us of the Tampa Bay Hotel included Sarah Bernhardt, Clara Barton, Stephen Crane, and the, the Queen of the United Kingdom, the Prince of Wales, Winston Churchill, and, and many others. In fact, regarding Babe Ruth, he was the guest at the hotel in, in his latter days, in its latter days, and signed his first baseball contract in the Grand Dining Room. 